Sri Sawanda Lalu and the Superintendent of Police, Sri Sylvester Nongtengere, along with the Chief Secretary to the Government of Meghalaya, Srimati R. V. Sucham, and Srimati I. Nongram, the Special Director General of Police. Our Chief Guest is being escorted to the flagpole by two NCC cadets. Umitirang ba kajala ba isimenta ha kajingra ki ya kasingyo jingla ilu kari India ni ka Republic Day ka ba hinyo pula ba kajingdap san pos na mchong kajingyo ya kajala me gilea ka ba pura u konrat ki sangma u lapentip ba kasor ka jala ka lapenlut hadu khatsa hojar aspa klur tingka na kementa ki kamperoy hapo kajala na kementa usnam arajar arpuway arajar arpuar. Haba keren ha kajingra ki ya kajingyo la ilu ban penheer ya kalama lai rong jong kari India ringkat kajing tem ya kajing ruai ba kerpang jong kari ka ba lapenlong hamadan pulu umitirang ba u lapenpena ba kidon sibon ki pura jek kiban supply pipe ba menta usnam ki bakun thop ya ka assembly building bathmai ka ganal hydro power ka koro boro project ka bala sedang bantai lu usnam ja khnais pa rapun riu bat ki wei ki wei de ki project ki plakot palat hajar klor
the year where we will be we are celebrating the 75th year of our independence at the same time this is also the 125th birth anniversary of late subhash chandra bose so indeed this year's celebration is very very special to each and every meghalaya and to each and every indian and i take this opportunity to wish and once again give my heartfelt greetings to each and every one of you on this very very important day friends the last 50 years of our statehood have been extremely challenging and while the challenges were there it is a great leaders distinguished individuals our farmers our youth our entrepreneurs our sportsmen our musicians and every single citizen has made meghalaya what it is we would not have reached this position if it not if it was not for the contribution that was made by the different governments we would not have been here today if it was not for the contributions made by the different chief ministers the different officials bureaucrats and each and every common citizen of our state so i take this opportunity on this very very auspicious and a great day for our country to wish and to thank each and every individual who has contributed to making this state and to making this country what it is today and in this last 12 months a new program called focus which is really to focus on the farmers has been taken up where over 200 crores is going to be spent on four and a half lakh farmer fa families benefits will be given to them and a direct benefit transfer is being done for the first time with these funds the farmers are actually able to meet their basic requirements that they need during difficult times similarly we realized that if we really want to target and reduce the maternal mortality rate which is one of the key areas for this government i ask myself this question all the time that while a mother is giving birth and bringing life into this world why should a mother lose her life and what is it that we can do to change that not easy not saying we can do it in one day or one year but we can make a difference and we realize that to do that it's not just about the last minute health facilities but it is a process that is involved you need to economically empower women you need to make them economically active and once they are economically active and empowered there will be more spacing between the birth the women will be more active and hence they will not be having delivery or birth every one year every two years there will be a, a gap and these are all socially connected we are all aware about it it is this governance that we have done in the last 4 years that has seen 4000 families had pipe connection through water honorable prime minister mentioned this on on the 21st of january that in 
in the rural areas there were 4000 families or houses that had water through pipe only 4000 and he has congratulated meghalaya that today within a matter of year and a half in spite of the covid challenges there are over 2 lakh families today who now receive water through pipe touching almost 12 lakh individuals in the state this is the kind of governance and focus that we have done and i'm very happy to inform you that because of the strong mobilization that has been done today the state government's expenditure is close to touching 14,000 crores. Where we were at a point in 2018 spending less than 9,000 crores. In a matter of four years, that has almost jumped up by 40%. And that is only possible because of the mobilization that has been done through external agencies. It's only been possible because of the implementation of the projects, timely implementation and uh, submission of UCs, getting the money from central government, and running the centrally sponsored schemes in the most efficient manner. And it is with this effort today that this 50 years of celebration is truly going to be special. We are going to inaugurate 300 projects in this year. And these 300 projects include the new Meghalaya Assembly, a project that's been pending for almost two decades. But it is under the leadership of our speaker, late speaker, late Dr. Don Cooper Roy, and also the current speaker, Srimet Paling Doji, where today we are seeing speedy implementation of this project. We had challenges. We had challenges, but in spite of that, I can assure you that in this year itself, in a few months from now, we will be inaugurating this project. We realize sports is important, and therefore within this, financial, this year itself, the 50th year of our state, we will be inaugurating one of the best football stadiums, I should say, in the whole region which is the P.A. Sangma football stadium in Tura. We will also be completing the upgradation of the Jawala Nehru Stadium, which is right behind us. We have also laid the foundation for the new administrative city. Friends, in the last 50 years, we have been functioning out of the same administrative setup in terms of the buildings in Shillong. And we have seen that Shillong has grown. It has become populated. We realize that until unless we don't expand the city, we will not be able to have the decongestion that we require. Shillong needs to expand. In the past, there was an effort to do that. But there were small bits and pieces of lands that were bought. It was not a contiguous piece of land. And hence, a planned city could not come out. So therefore, to change that, we have procured 807 acres of land in New Shillong area. And the new administrative township will come up in that area in the next 10 years. We will shift our different administrations, the secretariats, government offices, central government offices, so that the citizens will have to go to one location and they will be able to get all the services in that particular area itself. A place where there will be enough space planned properly, having a look of a modern city. And this is what Shillong and Meghalaya deserves. This is what our citizens deserve. We need to think big program called NIDA. This is a program under NABAR, where we will be giving funds of over 120 crores to build up new block offices in all the 40 blocks that are there.
close to 46 blocks, but six blocks we have already given. Another 40 blocks we will be giving three crores each to build new administrative setups and blocks in these old block buildings that are there. The different SP offices, the different police stations, we have earmarked to give 100 crores to different police setups to ensure that all these buildings are upgraded. We have funds for the PHC, CHC sub -tenters. Projects are going on as we speak. We will continue to strengthen them. We have schools, more than 2,000 LP schools. We have renovated close to 600 of them in the last two, three years. <coughs> we will continue to do another 200 to 300 schools in this year to this NIDA fund. Not just that, all the different administrative setups that have been created in paper but do not have enough infrastructures, like the new districts, the new subdivisions, the new blocks, we will be sanctioning money to make new administrative buildings in all these areas. And while we speak of administration, let me also assure you that there is need for more administrative expansion, especially at the block level. We realize that 70% of the services that the rural people need is through blocks. And there are some villages in our state where people have to travel more than two hours just to get their old age pension, just to see whether the NRGS money has been transferred or not, just to get some document signed. It is not fair. And therefore, we have made a conscious decision that we will take steps to improve the accessibility of administration at the grassroots level, and we will ensure that we create more administrative units that are required at the grassroots level. Therefore, we are working towards ensuring that we need to, number one, clear the fact that the ownership of this coal belongs with the people. And hence, we took the tough decision, knowing that there are challenges and the possibility of us losing the case. We realized that this is important for the people. We took the decision to challenge the NJT ban and we were successful in lifting it. And now we are in the process of the just transition where we are ensuring that people are going to be able to mine in a scientific manner, respecting the environment, respecting the system, respecting the people. And therefore you will see that within this year of our 50 years, our golden jubilee, we will come out with scientific mining licenses, which is under process as we speak. Hakani ke jirakhe ko ladan ruk ke chipun ko boromi ke briyo ke batray hakna ka koi ka kya ki badai ki wei pat ki bahamat e ki bani kon persa ya kani ke chingpang klam covid 19 bad ruk ke chipun ina mi ki w jong ki tarap sarkar ko pair pair ki ba job ha ka kadan bani kong ka yo ada katna phd ka ba ar ka soil bad ka balai ka dai jong ka tarap veterinary ladies and gentlemen the tableau presentation of the arts and culture department operation by the officers of the district agriculture officer and district horticulture officer east khasi hills district based on the theme 50 years of agricultural intervention through the last five decades meghalaya has progressed in leap we now present to you the tableau of the animal husbandry and veterinary department based on the theme vaccinate to eliminate Really? Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you next the tableau of the Forest Department team being an important and integral part of the people of our state where religious and cultural practices are deeply linked with the forest. Forest passions closely related to their knowledge of the use of plants and plant products as herbal remedies for various ailments over time. Traditional rules support conservation by limiting activities within sacred forests department themed on sanitation, swachh bharat of various program interventions of the department. 
Encouraged by the massive outreach and the Jan Andalan created under Swachh Bharat mission, with which adequate access to sanitary facilities before you the tableau of the Social Welfare Department on the theme Creating a Safety Net for Children. Violence against children has been linked to psychological, physical and emotional health problems as the children grow up. Things like whooping cough, diphtheria, tetanus, influenza, mums all had vaccines that would protect the recipients from the illness. Polio which leaves the sick temporarily Congratulations to Dr. Ivan Shadab. Congratulations to Dr. Varavita Mingra. Congratulations and husbandry and veterinary department. Can we have a round of applause please? Congratulations to the PhD department. Thank you sir.